Alang araw mga kasipnayan, ngayon ay ating pag-aralan ang isa sa mga learning competencies na nakapaloob sa Mathematics 5 Most Essential Learning Competency o yung inatawag nilang MELT. Handa na ba kayong matuto? Ilabas na ninyo ang inyong notebook at open. Tara, umpisahan na natin! Today's video is all about the visibility rules for 2, 5, and 10. And this is based from Math 5 MELC Week 1. And to start our discussion, I want you to open your notebook and your bullpen. We will be having our 10 basic facts a day. Are you ready? So let's start. I'm going to flash 5 questions. And you will be having 30 seconds to solve the questions. Are you ready? Let's start! So you have 20 divided by 5. 16 divided by 2. 40 divided by 10. 24 divided by 2. And 60 divided by 10. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to solve the questions. Ready? Start! You only have 10 seconds left! Time's up! I hope you finished the first set of questions. Let's proceed to the second set of questions. We have number 6, 35 divided by 5. 12 divided by 2. 30 divided by 10. 50 divided by 5. And 100 divided by 10. Again, you are going to solve that in 30 seconds. Timer starts now. Time's up! I hope you answer all the 10 questions. Now, let's see if you get a perfect score. Here are our answers for our 10 basic facts a day. We have 4, 8, 4, 12, 6, 10, 7, 6, 3, and 10. I hope you get a perfect score. This time, we will be having your mental math. Are you ready? Your task is to find the remainder of the following. Are you ready? Let's start. Number 1, 22 divided by 5. What is the remainder? I heard it right. It's 2. How about for number 2? 15 divided by 2. What is the remainder? Very good. It's 1. How about in number 3? 33 divided by 10. Exactly. It's 3. How about 11 divided by 2? You said it right, it's 1. And finally, for number 5, 66 divided by 10. What is the remainder? Very good, it's 6. 
for this activity, you are going to encircle the number that does not give a zero remainder when dividing it by 2. Are you ready? Let me hear your answer. Very good. We have 23. What else? Mm -hmm. It's 15. What else? 43. We have also 21. Do we have more? Yes, it's 11. Very good. Now, I want you to observe the remaining numbers. What are those numbers? We have 10, 18, 34, 22, 8, 56, and 10. What do you notice on the numbers? Very good. The numbers end with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Meaning, we can divide those numbers exactly by 2. And those numbers are also called your even numbers. Now, let's proceed to our next activity. For your next activity, you are going to encircle the numbers that does not give a zero remainder when dividing it by 5. Are you ready? Let's start. We have 18, 42, 16, 43, and 56. So those numbers will not give a zero remainder when dividing it by 5. Now, I want you to observe the numbers that were left. We have 30, 35, 20, 60, 25, 110. What do you notice about the numbers? Very good. Those numbers end with 0 and 5. How about this activity? You are going to encircle the number that does not give a zero remainder when dividing it by 10. Let's start. Yes, we have 25, 32, 18, 32, 25. So those numbers are numbers that will not give a zero remainder when we divide it by 10. Now I want you to observe the remaining numbers. We have 40, 10, 80, 50, 100, 90, and 60. What did you observe? Very good. The numbers end with zero. Now, when do we say that numbers can be divided exactly by 2 based from our activity? From our activity, we found out that numbers can exactly be divided by 2 if the numbers end with 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, or when the numbers are even numbers. Example, 56, 102. 248, 500, and 44. Now, can you give your own example? Very good. Now, when do we say that numbers can be divided exactly by 5 based from our activity? Yes, that's right. When the numbers end with 0 or 5, then we can divide exactly by 5. Example, we have 525, 90, 85, 705, and 1000. How about you? Can you give your own example? Congratulations! And lastly, when do we say that numbers can be divided exactly by 10? I heard it right. When the numbers end with zero. Example, 200, 50, 130, 560, and 410. 
Again, can you give your own example? Very good. Now, we say that a number is divisible by another number if there is no remainder. Meaning, when you divide a given number to another number, it will give you a zero remainder. So those numbers are called divisible numbers. Now, we can conclude that a number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, or the numbers are even numbers. We can also conclude that a number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 5 or 0. And finally, we can conclude that a number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. Dito nagtatapos ang ating talakayan mga kasipnayan. Hanggang sa susunod na video presentation natin. Huwag kakalimutang mag-subscribe at mag-like sa Sir Mel Sipnayan YouTube channel. Hanggang sa muli nating pagkikita, magandang araw!